Hi, Mossville. I'm going to read a book today that is a favorite in my household. It is The Little Engine That Could. So I hope you enjoy. Puff, puff, puff. Chug, chug, chug. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Her cars were filled with toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. But that was not all. Some cars were filled with good things for boys and girls to eat. Golden oranges, red-cheeked apples, bottles of milk, and even lollipops for after-meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily, then all of a sudden, she stopped. She simply could not go on another inch. She tried and tried, but her wheels would not turn. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown. All the dolls and toys cried out together, please, shiny new engine, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and a dining car with waiters to serve hungry people. I pull the likes of you. Indeed not. And off he steamed. Soon the little clown called out. Look, a great big strong engine is coming. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys. Won't you pull our train over the mountain? I am a freight engine, the big strong engine bellowed. I have just pulled a train with big heavy machines. I am very important, indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the big engine puffed off. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, said the little clown. The big engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot and off he rumbled. By now, the dolls and toys were so sad, they were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here comes a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chugging merrily along. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us. I am not very big. I have never been over the mountain, but I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. And the little blue engine hitched herself to the train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, 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 they started off. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster, the little blue engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Hooray, hooray, cried the little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy and take care and stay healthy. See you later.